Hello everyone, happy Tuesday and today I have a Tuesday morning haul to share with you guys but first of all, before I get started on that, on my Tuesday morning finds over the weekend I just want to share some items that I did see there that I already have like for instance, they have these Heidi Swap wood pieces for $1.99 but these I picked up from Joanne so I didn't get any and they all, I also seen this um style here there as well for a dollar 99 and then believe it or not i seen some of these as well i didn't pick any up like i said these i already have from tuesday morning i seen several packs of these hanging on the peg and also these in frame of packs i got these i don't know how many months ago but they still had some of these and of course i didn't pick any up because i really don't want to get duplex duplex i don't want to get um the same items and also i seen this set here the amy tangerine i had picked us picked this up at hobby lobby a while while back but they also had this there this set here and also they had i seen these die cuts as well and this i did get from tuesday morning a while while back and i seen this there and also <laughs> I seen these Maggie Holmes um, open book picture frames. And these I got from Tuesday morning a while back as well. And I seen, so I don't know what's going on over here in my area in Texas. There looks like they're bringing some of the same, sim, ugh, I can't talk, some of the same items back. Also, I seen some of these cards there as well. And then I seen a ton of of these as well i only have one pack uh, and i picked this up a while while back as well and i seen a couple items of this particular brand there these i got at marshall's a while back but they didn't have these bows but they have a few items of that old darling line i was like why are they having the same items and the last thing i seen there were these sequence um, the sequence set here. I got two of these a while back, so I didn't pick any of these up. This is the pull, the pull side. <coughs> Excuse me. And I know, I don't know if it's Maggie Holmes or Amy Tangerine. I know there's a new sequence uh, uh, embellishment pack going around. I think it has a heart, an XOXO. I didn't, I looked for that and I didn't find it. Also, what I seen there are these type of um, chalk inks. I didn't get any and really all I seen was a little box on the little rack and they had like three. I want to say it's this brand here, the Color Box. Color, yeah, Color Box. <laughs> I think it's that what I seen, but they have some of these going around at Tuesday mornings. And then also what I seen there were these Amy Tangerine blocks. I got this a while a while ago, maybe three or four years ago. I had found this set at Burlington Coat Factory. I had got a couple items. I remember that day I was in the mall. And I was excited to see that they had scrapbooking stuff. But if you're looking for this Amy Tangerine set, look for it at Tuesday morning, guys. I want to say... I want to say it was $4.99, but I paid $7.99 for it. I mean, that's still a good price compared to $16. But those are just some of the items that I've seen over the weekend. If you're missing out on those particular items, just keep looking. They're coming around. <laughs> but anyways, going to my Tuesday morning. Oh, real quick, guys. Sorry. I also wanted to share with you. I know Dollar Tree has some flowers, some new flowers and bowls going around. So that inspired me to make some. I use this Tim Holtz bow die and I made this little bow clip here. So I'm just going to make my own until they come to my Dollar Tree. I may get a few of those bow packs, but I'm not going to try to get any of those flowers. I have so many flower punches that I could just make myself and the bowl as well. But I thought it came out cute. I did a couple of those. And then I have this die here. This die 
guys, there's no instructions on this. I had to watch a video like six times, and it's not that easy to do. But once you get the hang of it, I made this bow here. And in the picture, you can see that it has the little, the little, uh, outside bows going down but all i did was keep them straight and just did it like that i mean this die you can make all kind of bows you don't have to be exactly like that that's why i liked it and then this here i made this one this is the top i mean it's pretty easy <clears throat> but making these bows is a little time consuming guys oh and heads up on this particular die here I went to a Target over the weekend, nowhere near my area. They have this on clearance at Target. Uh, if anybody wants that bow dye. Um, that's the only reason why I had got this. I think I bought this at, I don't know if it was Hobby Lobby. I don't remember, but I had this a while. And all I do is stick the paper where the bow is because I don't want the mustache. I just do the top two. And you could stick the paper in where you could just make the bow. But check your target, guys. They're clearancing this one out. I want to say it was $8 and change. And also they have um, the jar die there as well. I seen it there for eight something. So make sure you check your targets. <laughs> but anyways, going back to the haul, I found this color box um, stamp pad here. For $2.99, I got it in this color. I'm sorry for the glare. And then I got it in this color here. Sorry. I got it in this color here. It's like an off pink, like a violet color kind of. And then I love, love this color. This is called Sea Glass. I could see that name. This color here. So, so pretty. Oh, I wish the glare wasn't there. And then I got... This color box and this color pink here. And all of these were $2.99. And then I found these cute little clips for $0.49. Cents. And I didn't know what they were. I just saw paper clips. And this is what you actually get in them. It's like a baby theme. And I didn't know until I looked at it. It said, uh, where did I see that name? I seen something about baby. So I just thought these were cute, the little ones, sweet, the little, they're just clips. <laughs> I thought they were cute. They were only 49 cents. And then I found this sticker book here for $1.49. And there's the SKU number there. This is, I guess, for a birthday. I don't know if I'm going to keep these, though. I might pass those along to somebody. One of my subscribers, she doesn't have a Tuesday morning. <laughs> And then I got this set of papers here. But I don't know if it's me, guys. But this was $2.99, and I thought it was $1.99, so that's why I got it. So I love, love these mint colors. But I noticed that even some of their paper pads are not that cheap anymore. So I don't know what's going on with their price in there. And then I found these cute thickers for $1.99. And I love, love those little arrows and those little clover leaves. And then this is the back of the letters. The stars. And I just thought this was cute. I don't know who this is by or what. Um, it just says Fun and Games, I guess, by American Crafts. And here's the SKU number there. So I just thought those were cute. And then... I found this Maggie Holmes open book, little tags. And I already have this one. I went ahead and got this one for one of my friends. Oops, sorry. And here's the SKU number there. See that? I'm finding that some of Tuesday mornings, they have some of the same items coming out again. So that one's going for, to a friend for sure. And then I found these little Amy Tangerine uh, wood embellishments. It's like a little camera there. And these are the pieces that you get. This was $1.99. So I got that. And then I found this one a week ago. This Dear Lizzie and Frima pack here. 
It was a dollar forty nine. So I have two of these now. I just love love this Enferma pack here, and I was surprised that I found another one. So I snatched that one up. And then the other two Maggie Home items that I did get to find were these cute little glittery bows. And I think I already have one of these. But I can never pass up bows. And then I found this one as well. This is the one I wanted. I wish they would have had another one. But this is the only one that I found. And here's the SKU number there. And then uh, who was it? Creating with Terry, I think that's her YouTube channel. I follow her as well. And she has showed this Spellbinders die. And I knew that I wanted to get it. And I was so surprised that I found it. it's just a single little die. But I the first thing that popped in my head was doilies. <laughs> so I'm glad that I found this one. Here's the SKU number. And they had some bigger dies for $6.99 also by Spellbinders. But I didn't see any die that I would use. So I didn't get any. So this is the last Tuesday morning find for the week for me, guys. So that concludes my Tuesday morning haul. And I'll be back with Michael's. I went to Hobby Lobby. I went to Joann's. I went to Five Below. I went to Dollar Tree. So I have a few more items to share with you guys. So that'll be in my next video. Take care and thanks everyone for watching.